Hi, in this video, I'll show you how to edit your Dream Factory scripted APIs within a code editor, such as VS Code, and then manage the code within a version control repository, such as GitHub. So let's get started by having a look at a scripted service. In this particular example, I've used PHP. We've created our usual namespace, label, and description. And if I click on the config tab, you'll see that I have already configured this service to pull from a, um, a GitHub repository. The GitHub repository is called GitHub integrations example, and I'll show you that repository in just a moment. We're pulling from the master branch, and finally we've defined the repository path to the script in question. And if I go ahead and press the view latest button, you'll see that uh, Dream Factory will pull that script into the editor just to give you a convenient way to see what it looks like. Next, let's have a look at the GitHub integration demo repository. This repository is freely available and I've included a link to it within the video notes. Within the repository, you'll find two directories. Uh, the first is the source directory, and if I click into that, you'll see an example PHP script and an example Python script. If I click on the PHP script, you will see the very same code that was presented in the Dream Factory editor just a moment ago. And if I jump back to the root and enter the GitHub workflows directory, you'll find a file named main.yaml. If I click into that, what this is, this is a, a file that's used in conjunction with GitHub Actions. And this is particularly important because Dream Factory is only going to update the local version of the script when the scripted services cache has been deleted. And this is done for performance reasons. So every time a change is pushed to the master branch, of this repository, we are going to cause this GitHub action to execute, and it is going to call this URL, which points to our, our scripted services namespace. And of course, we're gonna pass along an API key, and we're going to uh, pass along the delete method as well. And this key is a, an API key like any other you will define within Dream Factory and it is attached to a role which is only allowed to delete the cache, the service cache. So just to recap that, we're using GitHub Actions. We've defined this main.yaml definition, which is going to run every time we push changes to the master branch. And in doing so, it's going to delete the uh, Dream Factory cache for this scripted service and therefore pull in a new version. And if I just jump over to Dream Factory's role-based access control manager, I just wanted to show you the role that was defined. So we've chosen the system service, the cache component, and we've given the role delete capabilities. So next up, let's have a look at um, the process itself in which we make a change to the script within VS Code. We commit that change and monitor both the Dream Factory log to see the delete request happen. And then finally, we'll return to the scripted service itself and update the view to confirm that the change has taken effect. Okay, so to demonstrate this process, I've headed over to my code editor, which in this case is VS Code. There are no restrictions at all here with regards to the editor you choose. This could be Vim, PHP Storm, you name it. And I've opened up script.php. And as you can see, this is the same script we looked at a few moments ago. And I'm just gonna make a trivial change here, adding 456 to the variable. I'll save those changes and return to my terminal. You can do this inside the terminal or inside the editor too if you have terminal integration. I'll run git status. Sure enough, there's a change. 
I will add it, commit it. And finally push that. And when I do, that's going to kick off that GitHub action. And I'll head over to the repository. I'll click on actions. And you'll see that this new commit made demonstration change has been queued. It's now in progress. It has completed. And if I head back to my terminal, Prior to starting the recording, I tailed the Laravel log for the Dream Factory instance, and I just grepped for delete. And as you can see, just a moment ago, a call to the PHP GitHub scripted service, URI associated with the cache was made, and the method was delete. So we've, we've successfully deleted the cache. And if I return to Dream Factory, uh, specifically to the scripted service, and I press view latest again, you'll see that Dream Factory recognizes those latest changes. So hopefully this, this short video gave you a, a nice overview of what this integration process looks like. And of course, from here, you could thoroughly test that API by adding some sort of test framework to that repository you could use assertions and mocks to confirm the desired behavior and output. And once those tests pass, you can push them to Dream Factory and um, deploy them for production purposes.